And our top focus to be on right now. Shocked Russians brought flowers to the Crocus City Concert Hall to pay their respects to the 133 people killed in a gruesome terror attack claimed by the Islamic State group. Candles and flowers were laid in memory of the victims at monuments across Russia and at Russian embassies abroad. Mourners hung flowers on fences and piled them on the ground at a short distance from the concert hall where gunmen opened fire on a crowd and set off explosives that started a huge fire. Amid the grief, firefighters pulled bodies from the rubble and worked to put out the flames. Well, there are fears that the death toll may rise further. The attack happened just days after Russian President Vladimir Putin cemented his grip on power. In an address on Saturday, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that the authorities and officials have detained a total of 11 people in the attack. Russia said all four gunmen suspected of carrying out the shooting had been arrested. Putin said that the killers were trying to escape to Ukraine and vowed strong action. Even as Kiev strongly denied any involvement in the assault, Putin did not mention the Islamic group in his speech to the nation. Take a listen. I can now say the following. All four of the actual performers of the act of terror, all those who shot and killed people, were found and detained. They tried to hide and were moving in the direction of Ukraine. There, according to the preliminary data, they had a crossing of the border prepared from the Ukrainian side. On the other hand, Kiev accused him and other Russian lawmakers of falsely linking Ukraine to the assault to stoke fervor for Russia's war in Ukraine. One more thing. What happened in Moscow yesterday, it is obvious that Putin is trying to find someone else to blame. Their methods are always the same. We have seen it all before, destroyed buildings and shootings and explosions. And they are always looking for someone to blame. Condemnation and messages of support poured in from world leaders. The latest being that of the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un who sent a message of sympathy to Russian President Vladimir Putin over the massacre. The message said, nothing can justify heinous terrorism against human lives. Kim and Putin have shown blossoming personal friendship as the ties between their countries have expanded in recent months. <laughs> Thank you.